Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 29th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, 304 angstroms, three earth-facing sunspots right now, but a pretty quiet sun considering what we've seen over the past month or so. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. A couple sizable sunspots there. One of them firing off a strong C-class solar flare. Looking at the last 48 hours here, outgoing. There is also an event in the outgoing position, not Earth-facing have a better look at it in another light here in just a moment you can kind of see it in that last frame there the plasma shootout looking at multi-spectrum here at one large solar flare or uh, sunspot and as well plasma filament collapse you can see on the right hand side big event taking off from the outgoing position of our sun 193 angstroms here showing the coronal holes. One of them was earth facing. And as well a building hole in the southern hemisphere. Slight uptick in geomagnetic activity. Having a look here at the sunspot groupings. The three major ones to point out anyway. Space weather it does affect. Look at all the seismicity and things we've seen across our planet over the last few days since that large blast was sent our way. Having a look at Alaska 2, showing all of the sun's energy. And most recent there on the 29th, you can see that plasma take off from the surface of the sun. Right there. So yeah, nothing major. C-class solar flare today, C-class solar flare yesterday. Solar X-ray flux remains in a low B range. Real-time solar wind remains low at 360 kilometers per second. Pretty a jagged stream here all around for the past 48 hours. ISPA space prediction spiral. Showing that event taking off in the outgoing position right towards Venus. And it looks like into 7th and the 8th, we could see a minor geomagnetic storm. And we are expecting one first into the 2nd as well. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 42 a very strong power of 42 spiked today after being calm for a couple days. I think that might have something to do with that earth-facing coronal hole. Amplitude of 42, quality 39, and as well power of 42. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as the quiet zone has been activated. Japan rocking away today. Just saw another one recently, a 5.2 there. Kuril Islands we're going to start with. And look at all the activity just south of that. Kirillisk, Russia. 5.4 there. Izu Islands, Japan region. Started last night and has continued on today. Then just recently saw another 5.1 in the region. A few submarine volcanoes through there. 5.6 here through Magar, Russia. As well, activity up into the Myanmar, 4.7 and a 4.8. 4.7 here reported in Chagos region, Somalia Plate. 4.9, Luwuk, Indonesia, 4.5 there, Western Indonesia as well. 5.8 here reported yesterday, Papua New Guinea. That's the largest the last 24 hours, and the deepest is right here, 4.4, Fiji. 
567 kilometer depth. Things quieting down through Alaska and as well Hawaii. North American plate seems pretty quiet too, except for White City, New Mexico continues on. No major swarms to talk about. Across the U.S., minor activity through Puerto Rico into the Caribbean plate. And quiet today through South America as well. San Pedro de Atacama, Chile, 4.5. As well as 4.9 here, South Sandwich Islands. And I still believe that's not enough to release all the pressure we were under over the last week or so due to space weather events as well very deep earthquakes having a quick look here at the last seven days across the planet for rumblers much love everybody and please just have a plan hashtag no fear here it's all about staying aware and prepared and being ready for all disasters do you have an earthquake plan do you have a go bag are you in a tsunami zone these are all things good to know, staying aware and prepared through a quiet North American plate. Now let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated, as well a most recent satellite imagery from across the world. As things have started to heat up storm-wise through southern United States, we have a couple tropical systems to talk about. As well, a tropical system heading up into North and South Korea. Extreme heat conditions through Europe. And let's get to volcanoes here. A Sabancaya in Peru. Fuego in Guatemala. Reventador in Ecuador. Sangue in Ecuador, Nevada Daru is Colombia, Semeru, Indonesia, Dakono, Indonesia, Swiss and Ajima, Japan. So that's about nine volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 47 that are active and erupting across the planet. Stay tuned for the next volcanic activity report coming up on Sunday. As I said, two tropical storms to talk about, Georgette and as well Frank spinning in the East Pacific not affecting any land masses. As well, we have another one south of Japan heading up into the Koreas. And it looks like Tropical Depression Songda. Songda is alive. And but won't be a major typhoon as it heads up into the Koreas. Other than that, no major tropical system is developing, but we do have quite a bit of rain heading towards South Australia. Stay tuned as the weather forecast is coming right up. But right after I share some satellite imagery here brought to you by Zoom Earth, as we are looking at a massive dust storm probably the size of australia being dragged across the atlantic ocean right now massive saharan dust storm being dragged out into the pacific satellite imagery from the 27th into the 28th and then 28th into the 29th there's even more saharan dust being swept off of the african continent and that is wrapped up in that huge lower level low, surface low. Very interesting times indeed. A lot of lower cloud cover across the planet being seen. And now this massive dust storm heading across the Atlantic. You can see the center of that low pressure system. Very strong and bringing it westward. Now let's get to weather here, brought to you by Venture Sky and as well daily events worldwide. Having a look here at precipitation maps over the next little bit. Stormy conditions and rain continue for southern United States and central, 
as well. There's a low pressure system heading into Manitoba, Ontario by Monday. <clears throat> Looks like by Tuesday we could see some wild weather through Ontario. And then things breaking out across Alberta Tuesday. So watch for extreme weather event through Alberta as the extreme heat warning continues. And we'll get even worse here over the next few days. Give you a quick look at the temperature maps as all of that air is coming straight out of the Gulf and the, equ the equator. Looks like a low is going to help usher up all that heat right up into Quebec. Looks like you could see 34 in some places times 2 plus 30, 94, 100 degrees. Quick look over Europe. Things have cooled down over there. Monsoon rains continue across Southeast Asia. Low pressure center heading up into Myanmar for the long range. And there is Songda forecasted to head up into the Koreas. And then Australia. You've got a big low pressure system heading to you next Monday into Tuesday. It's going to bring rain and stormy conditions right across the southern part of the country. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. See you next video. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.